Hi everyone, I'm Genevieve Toop and welcome to the market update for Friday the 12th of September. Adelaide is buzzing at the moment and we were lucky enough to film the next episode of Toop TV at the Royal Adelaide Show yesterday. It's such an iconic Adelaide event and this year marks the 175th show. We caught up with Katrina Roundtree and interviewed her to find out why she loves living on rural property. And being the ex-Adelaide Hills ambassador, she shared her passion for the lifestyle of the hills and what it offers. In the real estate world, the show marks the start of the busy spring selling season and this year it has started off really strong. Auction clearance rates reached 70.2% over the past weekend and there are currently 10.9% more listings coming onto the market compared to this time last year. We have seen firsthand the increase in buyer demand and the numbers of bidders at auctions right now is extremely strong. Last weekend, one of our Toop and Toop properties in Arendelle had 16 registered bidders and this amount of competition for the home achieved a premium price for our clients. Rural property is also in high demand and this is being driven by the strong commodity prices for citrus, almonds, dairy and beef. We've seen some of the best livestock yesterday competing at the show too. South Australia is set to have a bumper harvest this year, which is also contributing to the current property demand. Toop and Toop properties in the Adelaide Hills have had record numbers through the inspections and we've got an exciting dairy property coming onto the market in Macclesfield this weekend with 773 acres spread across five titles. Taking a look at finance, the Reserve Bank's decision to keep the interest rates on hold means it's a great time to look into your finance options. With the property market heating up, it is the perfect time to look into loan pre-approvals so you're prepared and ready at auctions when that dream home comes up that you just don't want to miss out on. And that wraps up this week's market update.